As coronavirus variant B117 continues its spread around the globe, labs across Canada are on high alert. To date, there have been 14 cases of a variant virus first reported in the UK. This is definitely a variant of concern. There's no doubt that uh, it's having an impact at the population level. In England, it now accounts for nearly 30% of cases. Computer modeling suggests this variant spreads more quickly. We need to keep following it. We need to continue sequencing it. Researchers in Ontario have developed new tests to try and identify variants faster. To find out if someone's infected with B117, they snip out a portion of the virus's genetic material for testing. Genetic sequences look a lot like barcodes. Compared to the original, the new variant has 23 areas of change or mutations, including some that affect the virus's outer spike. It's exactly that spike protein that causes the, the virus to attach to humans. Um, and if there's changes that make it attach better, that's more concerning. It's called a lock and key mechanism. The virus's spikes act as a key that must unlock our cells to get in and cause the infection. The variant has a mutation that appears to make that easier. Because of this one change, the virus can actually grab hold of that lock um, more tightly. Most COVID vaccines also work by using the spike to show our immune system what the enemy looks like, which is why many worry about the impact on vaccines. It would require many, many mutations to render our vaccines non-effective. So far, most cases of the variant in Canada have been linked to travel. Some experts argue stricter public health measures are needed to get ahead of this latest threat. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.